as I'm changing the threads, um, we're going to go ahead and review the wine glass design. So with that, I actually, as I played with this, again, just making up a little sample, um, it was a little hard in that the walking foot sampler that I showed you earlier to really get a good feel for what this the wine glass design looks like if you are working in a little bit larger quilt. But it is kind of fun to, to use um, because again, um, it gives us a feel for a bit of a curve as we create this design. And so with that though, as we work with it again, I'm simply starting at the top and working down. And my goal in any quilting designs that I'm creating, I want to have as as few starts and stops as I can, only because every time I've either got to do that little reverse or I've got to fasten my threads off, and I just want to try to avoid that when I can. So we'll just look a minute here at this wine glass design process. So I'm, I had started at the top here, and again, inched out a little bit and then came back to this center place. Now again, I'm not the, you know, the best piecer, so there's those perfectionists out there. If you are going to say, oh my gosh, she didn't get those with her, her exact lines perfectly together, it will be a little challenge as I get to that center to be able to kind of fudge it a bit to be able to get out from there. But, you know, that's the way it goes at times. But I will go ahead and a couple of things I can be thinking about. Um, again, I, I, it isn't too far of a distance between um, these points to be able to ease out to get an idea of about a quarter of an inch out here. Um, and, but some of you might feel more comfortable in again taking that, that, uh, no, that blue wash away marking pen or a little bit of a soap sliver and, and using your little ruler and maybe marking that point a bit um, as you do that quarter inch. But again, and that maybe give you a, get a way to get warmed up and, and feel more comfortable as you work along. All right, so getting ready for this wine glass. Again, I have my needle in position, you know, with between those those two squares. And again, I want to be able to do a little fastening off. And I went ahead um, and I'm using um, a sort of a little variegated um, light purple thread as I'm stitching with this, um, just just for fun. So I'm going to attempt to eyeball. So let's see if I can do it or not. So as I'm going ahead and stitching again, I want to ease out and then I'm just going to kind of walk it back to that center. And again, the idea of being able to kind of keep going, and, and this is a little, little, tiny, tiny little quilt that could be used as a little table, table display later or underneath a you know, bowl of a, a pot of flowers or something like that. But obviously the larger the quilt, even if you have sort of this square format, as you, you've pieced your blocks together, you can be just going the whole length of that quilt just in and out as, as we go and stitch along. Now I've gotten down to the bottom and I am now going to be able to completely flip the quilt around, not having to fasten off those threads, and then I can just go back the other way. So with that, we're going to get stitching here. So I've gone back to that end and just a couple little stitches to fasten those off. And we'll take it out and take a peek and see. So here we go as we're as we're designing a little bit more. And I'll do one more stitch line because then you'll get to see this really fun circular kind of um, design that's that's occurring. <laughs> 